Dear President Biden, members of Congress and Senate, my name is Corbin Sohn, and I'm here at the cream. We're waiting for the helicopter to pass by. Okay, all right. Yeah, now it's okay. Okay, Please start. Let's start from the beginning. Go. Dear President Biden, members of Congress and Senate, my name is Corbin Sohn, and I'm here at the Korean War Memorial, where, the, um, we, where we honor the thousands of my fellow Americans who gave their lives so that, I can be a, so that I can be free and be a voice for the voiceless. In the same way, Jesus gave his life so that all of us could be free, but the citizens, orphans, and prisoners of North Korea can never hear this message in their oppressed state. Not only are they chained by sin, they are chained by man as well. In North Korea, hundreds of thousands of men and women are persecuted and even killed each year as they have none of the rights we have. They are mentally, physically, and spiritually ripped apart and oppressed. As Christians, we are commissioned to bring hope to the hopeless, light to the darkness, and joy to the oppressed. That is why we take a stand here today, like the brave men and women who we honor here have done. As I think about North Korea, I am reminded of the time when I went on missions to Honduras and Mexico. Uh, so much pain and sadness and desperation were, was everywhere I looked. But when we shared the joy we had in Christ Jesus, their faces radiated with joy, even in the state they were in. As I was going back home, I realized I could escape this horrible reality in the peaceful, blessed America that I live in. But the people of Mexico and Honduras live in that reality every day. Their only escape is through that one week of joy we can bring them. But as I think of North Korea, they never get even a glimmer of hope or joy in their lives. And their lives are a hundred times worse than what the South Americans live in. In conclusion, we have taken our stand here and are done our part by standing here and sharing this message with you today. Now what will you do as fellow Christians, brothers and people to stop this wickedness in North Korea? Good. Good.